Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to our daily MCQ series. Uh, today we are going to talk about the second quiz that I have already prepared, already uploaded on Naveen uh, academy.naveenautomationlabs.com. You just need to go to the store and from there it's uh, freely available. You just go to Selenium quiz number two and you can just simply click on continue and uh, you can start the quiz. There are 10 questions, 10 minutes, start the quiz and you can read the instructions and then your timer will start after that. So the first question is that what is the correct syntax of implicitly wait in 4.x library? So we know that driver.manage.timeout which will return, uh, which will uh, uh, give you the timeout and then implicitly wait a duration of seconds that we have to use. And uh, this is also implicitly wait duration of seconds. Here you can check that. But this is a driver dot navigate not manage. So we have to use driver dot manage dot timeout. This is wrong. Driver dot manage dot window is a wrong syntax. And driver dot manage dot timeout implicitly wait time unit dot second is coming from Selenium three library. So that's why the option is B here. So click on save and next. What is the right option to apply page load timeout in Selenium four dot X library? Again, same concept driver dot manage dot timeout dot page load timeout duration of seconds. So the answer is C here. Don't use driver dot page timeout or driver dot window timeout or driver dot manage timeout with duration only 20 because we are not using any off seconds or off minutes here. So the answer is C here. Okay. And this is Selenium 4 library. Remember duration is coming from Selenium 4 library and uh, time unit is coming. Okay. It comes from Selenium 3 library. So let's click on save and next. This is an inter interesting question. How many Chrome browser instances will be launched from the given below script? Driver equal to new Chrome driver. Same driver is equal to new Chrome driver. And then again, I'm writing driver equal to new Chrome driver. So what will happen? Because of this first line, the browser will be launched and the session will start. And then again, I'm writing driver equal to another session. I'm going to start driver equal to new Chrome driver. And then one, one more Chrome instances instance I'm running and then pointing to the same driver. I'm not writing driver one, driver two, driver three. I'm using the same reference, which is pointing to the newly created instance. So here the answer will be three, not one. It will not throw any exception. It will not do, uh, it will not create two instances. It will create three uh, instances of the browser. Here you can see one, two and three. Practi practically, if you really want to see that exactly same script that I have written one, two and three times I'm launching Chrome driver, but the driver reference is same. And then on the third reference, uh, third instance, the driver.getgoogle.com will be launched. So let's see, quickly run it. So here you can see the browser should be launched. The first browser, the second browser, and then the third browser. And on the third browser, google.com will be opened. Okay, these first two browsers will be blank in that case because we have change the reference. The current reference is pointing to the new Chrome driver that is the latest object and latest session. So the latest session will be created with this guy. And that's why we are using driver.get. So currently what is the position of the driver? The position of the driver is on this particular Chrome driver. So that's why it will create <coughs> three instances. Okay. Like that. So that's why the answer is three. Save and next. What is the return type of driver dot switch to dot alert method? alert method will return the alert reference. So we have to use alert reference over here. Click on save and next. What is the return type of driver dot switch to dot alert dot accept dot accept method does not return anything. You can just quickly check that here as well. So let's see if I'm creating that driver dot switch to dot alert. See, first of all, alert method is returning. You can see alert reference over here returns a handle to the dialogue and alert reference. We have to store inside the alert. But if I'm directly using dot accept method, accept method will just accept the uh, JavaScript pop up and accept method is returning void. OK, it does not uh, return anything. So that's why you can write in the single line statement also and it will return a void here. Click on save and next. Which JavaScript code will scroll the page to the footer or bottom of the page. So in Selenium, we don't have direct method available, but we have to use the JavaScript executor. So zero to 200, it will go to up to the height of 200 of the page minus 100. No zero to document body dot scroll height. 
Yes, this is the right answer because we have to go to the bottom of the page means from zero you have to start. It means from top you have to start and go to the up to the scroll height of the entire document. This is the reverse. It means this is from bottom to top. You can check the exactly same thing over here. You can see this is my Amazon.com where I'm already available on the top of the page. And you simply say that, yeah, window.scroll to zero comma document body scroll height and see I'm going to the top of uh, bottom of the page. But if you reverse comma zero, if you write it and then now again, you will go back to the top of the page, right? So the answer is zero to scroll height we have to use. Then with JavaScript code will perform the page scrolling down until the specific element is displayed. You just keep scrolling down and then you have to stop where exactly or let's see on Amazon also if you go to this particular application, you have to stop the scrolling the moment I see top sellers in books for you. Right. So it means we have to stop the scrolling. So we have to use the concept of scroll into view, which should be true. Right. So answer is B. A scroll into view should not be false. It should be true. Remember this thing. And we have to pass this particular web element that up to which element you have to uh, uh, we have to scroll and then then we have to stop the scrolling. This is again uh, bottom to top and this is zero to bottom. It means top to bottom. We are using it. So the answer is here because we have to scroll down until the specific element is displayed. This element is displayed or not. So we are just converting driver into JavaScript executor js.execute script and when you execute this script it will go from top to uh, uh, it will go from it will keep scrolling down until the specific element is displayed or not okay so the answer is b here click on save and next this is very straightforward which method is not present in the select class of selenium java library by index is there visible text is there by value is there so answer is select by value click on save and next which interface provide the feature of taking a screenshot in Selenium? That's again very straightforward. Uh, WebDriver is an interface, but it does not have get a screenshot as method. Then take a screenshot interface with get a screenshot as method. Yes, this will take it. Web element interface with screenshot method. No, web element does not have any screenshot method. And search context also does not have any get a screenshot as method. You can check, you can cross check here. So let's see, for example, this is my WebDriver interface. And what you can do is that you simply press control O and then you can check get a screenshot method is there or not. See, it's not there, right? You can check the same thing. WebDriver is uh, extending the search contact interface in search context. We have only find element and find elements. Now we will go to where we will go to the Chrome driver class. And from the Chrome driver class, you simply go to the Chromium driver class and go to the remote web driver. And remote web driver is actually implementing the take a screenshot interface. See this interface. So the take the screenshot interface is having get a screenshot as method is there and which is actually implemented by remote web driver class. So here you can see just press control O and then see this get a screenshot as method is actually implemented by remote web driver class, but it's actually coming from where from the takes a screenshot interface and the method name is this. So that's why the right combination of the answer is take a screenshot with the get a screenshot as method. So click on save and next. Select the right option to run Selenium test on the remote hub machine. Okay, you want to run it on the Selenium grid. So we have to use the concept of a remote web driver. So answer D you have to exclude. So answer D is totally wrong answer. Then let's see the first one remote web driver constructor is taking what the constructor is taking the hub URL in the form of URL, not the in the form of a string URL. So we have to use hub URL and then we have to pass certain capabilities. So the answer is B over here, not the web element. You can cross check here as again. If you see the remote web driver class object, if you really want to create that. So see, I'm going to create a new remote web driver. See, this is that uh, URL that we have to pass. So we have to pass a new URL object here. And then we have to pass the string and then whatever the desired capability or uh, different other Chrome options that you want to pass, you can pass it here. So this is the right syntax. You have to pass a new URL, not the string. And if you see the constructor also of new web, remote web driver, it's saying this is the constructor URL. We have to pass not the a string URL we have to pass. Okay. So that's why the answer is this one and then click on save and next. Perfect. So everything is done. 
all the questions we have attempted and then simple click on submit let's see what is the rank and uh, what is the score so score we are getting 10 out of 10 everything is fine you can ignore the percentile and everything and rank is first rank out of 36 attempt i mean other people also they have attempted so you can also take this particular uh, uh, quiz one more time and number of times you can just simple attempt there is no limitation for that and then you can get the scorecard from here and you can directly print it from here as well okay so that's all it will give you the complete information about it and it will give you the what is the right answer for that that also will give it to you and then you can save this as a pdf in your notes section somewhere in your uh, folders anywhere and then you can use dice for your interview point of view to just to revise the concept i will suggest that please go through all these quiz daily basis i'll be putting a quiz on different tools and technologies it's not only for selenium it will help you a lot to prepare to improve your concept to prepare for the interviews for sure that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all